Hi everybody, how you doing? This is uh, Simple Samurai, and uh, this is not the video I intended to do tonight. Um, I had ordered a, uh, from someone on Facebook, a, uh, it was um, <clears throat> Graflex CE, an Ultra Saber Graflex CE stunt saber, but with an Emerald driver. I thought that would have been a very interesting kind of mix of features and non-features, um, but the post office seemed to drop the ball. Um, probably short staffed. I mean, everything is short staffed and bordering on dysfunctionality at this point. But, um, yeah, so, um, I didn't receive that. And, uh, but fortunately, my day wasn't, uh, as chaotic, uh, because everyone, uh, where I work, we're all kind of losing our minds right now. Um, it's been very stressful times. For some reason, I, I just, I had no energy at all when I when I got home yesterday uh, from work to, to really do a whole lot. Mustered up the strength, did a kind of a little video, which maybe you saw uh, for uh, St. Paddy's Day. And uh, here I am now um, presenting a, um, what is this thing? It's a dark standard Battle Saber V3. Um, but I also have my, I think this is an initiate V3. I, I, I really can't remember um but the reason why i have both of these here is essentially because i purchased them from the same seller um there's a there's a seller on ebay he uh he produces where he produces these really cool um these really cool you know weathered customs of of the various ultra sabers hilts that he acquires um, but this one isn't obviously weathered, but it's unique for, for different reasons. Um, the reason why I have both of them here is because he, uh, included a dis a quick disconnect, uh, feature in here. And, um, this one, uh, the, uh, which I reviewed earlier, uh, in the month or last month or whatever, uh, I think it's the dark initiate version and, uh, it has, uh, it, it looks like he just kind of sanded away some of the black, so that kind of accounts for the um, for the weathering here, which is really really nice. And it has uh, the violet amethyst LED, which for some reason on this saber is is really really beautiful. And I, I've come to really, I'm really really fond of this saber. I kind of I keep it. Uh, this may sound weird, but I keep it in my car in case a sporadic duel breaks out, which it never does because no one ever wants to do that. Um, <laughs> but if I ever meet any of you guys, uh, I will always be equipped. And uh, I just, I absolutely love this saber. It's so sweet. Um, I'm actually going to compare this, believe it or not, to my uh, Saber Trio Arclight at some point when I'm feeling a little bit more energetic. But um, but this does have the disc qu quick disconnect for the LEDs, so if I was ever inclined to remove that and install it in this Saber, I can do that. So that's why this is here. Uh, I will set this aside for now. Sorry about the camera angle. Uh, so what's different about this uh, particular, I'm just going to call it a the battle saber i'm not going to use its full title uh well um i got a, what i consider a really good price on this and i've been wanting to get a one of these battle sabers i had seen a few people receive mystery boxes and every time i saw one i just thought well that's a really really neat looking saber but i didn't know how neat it was until i actually received one and saw the the quality that really goes into this thing the pictures don't do it justice the photos on the Ultra Savers website, and every time I had seen one, it it kind of looked goofy to me in in a way. I didn't really like the design of it uh, too much, but um, now that I have one, I'm I'm really happy with it. Uh, the blade um, is a little bit too long. It has the 36 inch blade, and, and everybody knows how I feel about that. I'm a 32 inch blade guy. Uh, the the saber I just showed you, my initiate, that one does have a 32 inch blade, so it's well nigh perfect. Uh, so what does this saber have going for it? Well, the internals are pretty much the same. Uh, not much was done to it, but when I purchased this, it came with a um, the, the pommel from a Dark Shock, and uh, it's, it's surprisingly. Uh, relevant to the design of this particular saber um there is some you know scratches here and there not a big deal uh you can get the version of uh this saber with with these um with these grooves these cutaways here or without it obviously this one has that design element and uh, i really think that the uh 
the shock pommel goes really well with the saber and uh, one of the reasons why the seller had um installed this well installed it <laughs> kind of a had um included it with the with this hilt is because it, it balanced it out with the 36 inch blade and i'm inclined to agree with him so i'm actually going to keep the 36 inch blade on here um i'm kind of a purist when it comes to my purchases and i you know when i buy something used i, I kind of more or less keep it um intact uh, with how i purchased it don't ask me why i'm weird you should know this by now uh but anyway so let's get in real close You've got uh, your black anodization, and then the uh, the silver the, is, I'm assuming, just aluminum. The details, I mean, it's a very, very simple design. It's a very, very uniform hilt. There's no real difference in, in the shape of it from one end to the other. But, I don't know, it's, it's very nice. It's, it's an elegant, elegant design, an elegant saber. Very comfortable in the hand. This one comes with a silver AV switch, which is also very nice. Um, this this is a uh, by the way I, I should preface this by saying this is a stunt saber. I'm a I'm a big fan of stunt sabers, especially where ultra sabers is concerned. Uh, when I get the higher end sabers, you know, um, like the Guardian I just ordered, yeah, I'll get I'll get sound for that. My um <clears throat> my uh, Empress that's going to have premium V4 sound. Um, because I really wanted to go for it. I wanted to put some custom fonts onto that saber. Um, and now, uh, <laughs> because of a video I just saw, you know who you are. Uh, I, I, I do want to get uh, the butcher. I've been wanting to get a butcher. I had forgotten that I wanted to get a butcher. So I, I was pricing out the butcher tonight uh, with the premium sound. And uh, with the... Uh, with the um, accentuations i guess i don't know my choices for that saber it wouldn't wouldn't be very expensive but i'm going to hold off on making that purchase uh, i've i've accumulated some points and i submitted a video a review video i think that program's still in effect so i might get more points and then i've got 20 percent off coupon still to use um i used my first one for the guardian and i have a second one and um i would kind of like to uh take advantage of the of the next raffle i'm assuming that there's going to be a, a spring raffle or something if that's how it works um because i didn't win anything in the last raffle and i've never actually won anything ever my i'm 51 years old and i've never won anything so it would be nice for my luck to change anyway so i digress so this saber has a nice little angled emitter here i like how they have the uh the silver showing at the end, the, the chrome showing at the end. And uh, there's your uh, blade retention screw. Of course, as with uh, all Ultra Sabers, there's no uh, LED retention screw. Um, and I was thinking about that. I was kind of sorting that in my head. And I realized that the reason why Ultra Sabers uh, probably never includes um, LED retention screws is because of accessibility for the LEDs in case of a quick disconnect. And that probably makes them easier to assemble these things. Um, we in the Saber community will continue to complain about um that and um it's never gonna stop i get the i get the feeling that uh things aren't really gonna change too much so that's why i'm sort of letting it go at this point blade color here we go that's kind of hard to see here but that's fire orange and again this uh uses the quick disconnect for the leds so if i were so inclined to swap this out with my other uh saber from this uh gentleman um, I could do that, but I don't think I'm going to. I just, I thought it was kind of a neat option if I wanted to go that route. Uh, anyway, yeah, so in the hand, uh, obviously not very heavy. You know, it's a, it's a big, it's a big boy. Um, perfect for a single or two-handed. Uh, of course, you don't have the electronics in here other than the, uh, you know, your, your switch, your, your um, quad AAA battery pack at the uh, pommel end. And the LED, so it's, it makes for a very light saber, although not really that much su substantially more lighter, lighter. <laughs> yeah, uh, perfect two-handed, um, perfect one-handed. It's it's just a general, well-balanced, all-around beater. Very lovely saber. I, I 
quite enjoy it. Um, one complaint would be probably uh, the relative lack of blade depth. I think it, it only goes to maybe about here. So that's a little bit concerning. Um, but I'm going to turn that off, get the lighting back to normal. Uh, so, yeah, the blade depth is, is kind of limited. But, um, you know, you can kind of hear it flexing inside the, the blade holder a little bit. And uh, I can't imagine the thing would, would come out. This is a mid-grade Ultra Edge uh, blade that came with it. So, yeah. I'll give you the camera's moving around a little bit more than usual, so I apologize for that. I'm actually surprised I, I have energy tonight. So It's a, it's a really nice, kind of the paints, the anodization is kind of a glossy finish and the way it plays off of the silver or the, the aluminum, it's a nice uh, aesthetic choice. It, it really plays well. And like I said, the, um, the shock pommel uh, choice is a, a very ingenious decision. Of course, it has the vents. Uh, Sabre, of course, does not have sound uh so yeah it's a wonderful uh it's a wonderful saber i i would say that uh you know it i'd be almost inclined to you know purchase one uh with sound at some point probably won't um i might even be inclined to get an install done on this saber uh but uh, then again i have so many you know stun sabers that i would do an install on I, i'd kind of like to uh maybe install a nigon uh spark three into my uh it's my mirror. Yeah, I have a, I have a kind of a mirror that, you know, it's just sort of a, a spare saber that I wouldn't mind making that into kind of like a handy dandy uh, sidearm uh, for dueling. At any rate, so yeah, that's it. That's basically it. That's all I have for you today. Uh, it's sort of a pseudo review of a. Uh, let's see if I can get all the de uh, dark. Um, Standard Battle Saber V3. I'd like to see what like version V2 and V1 were like. When are we going to get V4? Because in like 25 years, we're going to have like V10. Yeah. What's that going to be like? Probably the same exact Saber. Anyway, so uh, yeah, that's it. That's it pretty much um, as far as this review goes. So um, hope you enjoyed it uh, for what it's worth. And if... Um, you know, if you're so inclined as to um, like or dislike the video, that'd be cool. Subscribe. I'm trying to reach 500. You know this. Uh, once I reach 500, I'm going to show off all my Ultra Sabers in a big pile. I'm just going to throw them in a big pile. Just boom, in a big pile. And uh, I'm going to take a running jump into them. And then I'm, whatever. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, please comment if you're so inclined. And uh, hope everyone is healthy happy safe and uh surviving and uh keep a keep a stiff upper lip uh, uh things have have bound they're bound to improve i have i have faith that uh things are, are bound to improve and um anyway so that's it my love to you all and uh i'll talk to you later take care now bye bye